got all the items I care to get, and the final boss is just ahead. Well, there is one more energy tank that I'll give a couple of shots at. I can usually do it easily, it's just kind of annoying. I know I say that about many things. Oh, we don't need to shoot missiles, we just need to... Just taking a mental note of where that is, I'll need to remember it in this game. This part is just kind of annoying. You have to hit the jump at just the right time to get down. There we go. And we get one shot. Well, one shot that we get far enough to screw up on. There we go. It might be possible to space jump through there, but I've never done it. See, that always happens. Even if you kill the enemies in this room, then the alarms don't shut off, so you can only fail once and then you're Beyond this door lies the command center of the ship. Its nucleus, its nerve center. What is that horrible mechanical grinding noise? Old friend, Ridley. He's going to be a complete pushover because we don't have all the power ups. It still hurts if he hits a little bit. If he does, if you get 100% completion, he does twice as much damage and has three times as much health.
reason I have to do that is because I don't have power bombs. They blow up in that little obvious connecting area thing. It's the escape. Again. Oh, maybe they didn't shut off the wall jump thing. It's just my horrible controller. Now the hall of lasers that bombard you and there's not much you can do about it except get lucky. See what I mean by the screw attack isn't essential but helpful, it's just lets you plow through space pirates like they were nothing. I guess on that note they are vulnerable to things that aren't the Even if we had activated that shortcut area, it wouldn't be open. It just makes us go through this. Or slow down. What causes that exactly in this emulator? Out of the way! Pull over! Don't have all day. Oddly enough, this is not officially the red ship. It's it's another one. I don't get that. Because, I mean, it's got the robots, it's got the same overall look, it just isn't. Now, the real final boss. These two guys. Oh, at least they're gonna split up. Uh, they're not. They're not splitting up. That's it. Just die. Die, 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 die. Come on, you can die. Any time now. You imagine doing that with only two energy tanks, that was annoying. But we made it out alive. And we get to look at the horrible ending I earned for us with nothing of note at all, I don't think. It's like a different color than the ones that were zooming overhead. Maybe that's why she doesn't get shot down by the Federation upon getting close. Let's see how badly I did. After the credits roll. to be over with this. It's been haunting me for a while that I started something and didn't finish it. So I got a couple videos up on YouTube and technical issues and technical issues and I didn't want people to think I'd abandoned it. Anyway, all things going well. Up next will be Martin's play on the Rain Stick Precipice of Darkness. Explain why I'm doing that one in particular in the video itself, but it's got something in common with Cthulhu Saves the World. Soon. I see Super Mario Club all over the place. I wonder what they are exactly. I mean, it's Super Mario Club, obviously, but. family used to do in year of times. Chris Needham. He has a great last name. Also brings up the what did your family do in old times question, but... Now we 
learned that even as a child, Samus loved to destroy things. You can actually see that during the battle, too, if you look in close. It's not as detailed, obviously, but there is a couple little ovals. Yeah, we got the most generic of all endings. The, yeah, you beat the game. A little over half the items. Well, I'll see you all next mission.